ranking the best defensive tackles in college football. And boys, we are back here with another tier list update. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the defensive tackle position. Now, right before we do go ahead and get into the new cards today, though, wanna take a look at the old tier list. And it's been a while since we updated defensive tackle. They really haven't dropped a ton. I think it's been almost a month since the last update. So I think for sure, everyone needs to come down a singular tier. Before we get into today's video, I do wanna talk about our sponsor real quick, MMOEXP.com. If you guys want an alternative to buying packs, consider buying Buying coins at MMOEXP and make sure to use code DILLA checkout for 5% off your order. And I still really like Jalen Carter and Warren Sapp. Maybe we will need to drop everyone down a further tier, but yeah, this is what the tier list is looking like before we get into the new cards. Now, the first card we got right here is Eric Gregory from Arkansas. This card has 63 speed, 77 acceleration, has 81 power moves with lower finesse moves, good block shed, good impact blocking, and for traits, no pass rush traits on yes. So I feel like the finesse moves really hurts this card. And we'll talk about pass rush traits real quick. So think of the bull rush move that is power moves spin and swim are finesse moves so if they're on no that means they're not going to use that rating and if they have no pass rush traits on yes kind of gives them like an auto shed timer that's based on the combo of these two ratings and eric gregory he can i mean he does have 80 power moves on this d tier level compared to like base elite uh what's called walter nolan and these guys gonna slightly make d for me we also get amari thomas right here and this card has 67 speed 74 excel six foot four 320 82 power moves good block shed good impact blocking for traits no pass rush traits on yes so i think he's actually pretty similar to the to the card we just covered um i'm also gonna place him in the d tier and maybe i could see him in the c tier but i'm gonna place him right by eric gregory now right after that we go on a big run of quinnon williams starting off at an 86 and he gets like a bunch of plus ones up to the 89 and then he actually takes a pretty big jump at the 91 so let's look at the card right here we're gonna start off at the 86 where he has 80 speed 79 excel 80 finesse moves 84 power moves 86 block shed 77 impact blocking for traits this is going to stay the same by the way only the spin move trade on yes meaning he's only going to use his finesse moves he's not going to use power moves but that is fine and i feel like as a base card like this is this is still a really solid defensive tackle in the game he had some rings that i like like the block shed the finesse moves the power moves i feel like the 86 the 87 the 88 are all on the same level and i feel like for and for me i'm going to place them all in the b tier so yeah, Quinnen Williams, 87, 86, 87, and 88 are going to be B for me. And after that, though, we get to the 89. And the reason why this card is higher, again, it's 83 finesse moves, but it's really hitting 80 impact blocking. That's that next threshold we hit on this card. So the 89, again, it's all like some plus ones, but he is going to be in the A tier for me. And I think you could, I don't hate the take that you say he's the best one in A. And finally, of course, we get the 91 Quinnen Williams that has 83 speed, 83 excel, 6'3", 303, 91 power moves, 84 finesse moves 91 block shed 81 impact blocking but again only going to use that finesse move rating i still feel like this card though is good enough for the s tier so i'm going to place quinn and williams in the s tier and right after that we get marley cook right here from the u and this card is six foot two 298 77 speed 80 acceleration has 77 finesse moves 82 power moves 89 block shed is really solid in for traits no pass rush traits on yes i feel like he is a little bit better than the cards we covered in the d tier i'm gonna slightly place him in the c tier just because he does have a little bit decent physical stats for the defensive tackle spot. I think he's better than Amari Thomas and Eric Gregory. And speaking of Eric Gregory, we, we get another one. Um, he got a field phenom as well, this time coming in at an 88. Um, he's six foot four, 324 still. Uh, that didn't change. 69 speed, 78 excel, 81 power moves, 87 block shed, 80 impact blocking and for traits. Nothing on yes yet again. And I feel like, did he really get that much better? Like what? He got... The, he has the same power moves. Does he have the same finesse? He has the same exact pass rush at the 88 compared to the 84. He got, what, two block shed and a little bit of speed and excel. I, I feel like they're literally like the same card. So for me, I'm going to place Eric Gregory right by his other card. Going to be in the D tier for me. Kind of weird how he got a plus four overall and just barely went up in any stats. And then right after that, we get Kenneth Grant. Potential uh, free card right here that you could get by uh, purchasing him with the, uh, the the trophies that you get from leveling up. And there's a card that is six foot three, 339, 80 speed, 88 acceleration. This time has 88 power moves, lower finesse moves, but good block shot, good impact blocking for traits actually has ideal traits he has only the bull rush move on yes meaning he's not going to use this finesse move rating you can essentially block it out not going to use it only going to use power moves i feel like his speed his excel the power moves the block shed the impact blocking like this is a really great defensive tackle in the game i feel like 
He's another person that I'm going to place in the S tier. I think he's better than the A tier guys. And again, it's kind of making me want to drop everyone else a singular tier again. And we may do that here soon. But after that, we get a uh, Tara Edwards right here from Illinois. And this is like a just weird card because he's an 89 overall. And I don't understand how he's an 89. So he doesn't have really any speed or excel. He's six foot two, three uh, fifteen. So I get it though. Like it's defensive tackles, they don't need speed or excel. He has no pass rush. And I get he has 90 block shit, but I mean, this pass rush is like terrible. Like some of the worst pass rush I've seen. Um, I feel like there's no point to use the card at this point. Like why would you use a card that doesn't offer you anything as a pass rusher? This is going to be someone that is in the F tier for me. Also get Yaya Block right here from Iowa. And this card is 6'5", 306, 81 speed, 80 acceleration, 85 finesse moves, 84 power moves, 90 block shit, 88 impact blocking for traits. Doesn't have any pass rush traits on, yes, but this is overall really good defensive tackle. Like really really good i think he's very close to being like an s tier player but i'm gonna go ahead and place him top end of a i could see the debate for him being s tier based on our current list i don't hate it i feel like he's a little bit underrated and we also get a card that i can't stop calling ron swanson it's zach swanson but he is six foot four 282 80 speed 92 acceleration is great um 91 finesse moves 81 power moves 85 block shed 71 impact blocking doesn't have any pass rush traits on yes but the 91 finesse moves is so good on this card. Like he still, he still will shed a lot because he has high finesse moves. And again, that's kind of like what I was saying when they have no pass rush traits, kind of put on an auto shed timer. And for me, Zach Swanson, I think he is another addition to the S tier, man. I do. Um, you know what? Actually, we're going to go ahead and drop everyone down a tier. Okay. And we're actually going to drop even our S tier down. And I think it will make sense in the end but yeah this is what the tier list is gonna look like we're gonna drop everyone down boom boom and boom and really the main reason i dropped everyone down was kind of because of this card right here walter nolan um walter nolan is six foot four 290 84 speed 85 acceleration 89 finesse moves 90 power moves i mean some of the best balance of pass rush we've seen uh 91 block shed 89 impact blocking has all three pass rush traits on yes which ideally you would have all three pass rush traits on yes and a great balance of finesse moves and power moves which this card has i think walter nolan is by far and away the best defensive tackle like i don't think anyone really comes close and yeah, I think he's deserving of being the only one in S tier, man. I don't think the A tier guys are as good as Walter Nolan. I think he clears every defensive tackle. So yeah, Walter Nolan going to be the only person in S tier today. And now we also get Haloti Nada right here. And this card is six foot four, 340, 84 speed, 85 acceleration, has 89 power moves, 80 finesse moves, 91 block shed, 88 impact blocking. Doesn't have any pass rush traits on yes, but I still think Haloti Nada is a great defensive tackle in the game. For me, Haloti nada is just going to go ahead and join this a tier though and i think you can debate placement throughout the list and now we did end up getting another defensive tackle right here we got blake right here from byu now this card is actually super interesting he's six foot five 275 um 82 speed 90 acceleration has 90 finesse moves on the card which is pretty crazy 83 power moves 80 block shed 80 impact blocking but for traits this is where the card actually gets a little bit weird and i actually used him in a recent gameplay video and i was kind of wondering why you know like the the finesse moves weren't like he wasn't crazy he actually only has the bull rush move on yes so like this 90 finesse move rating is pretty much meaningless which kind of sucks for the card right uh spin and swim on no so this is a card blake that i mean I, if he has his finesse move traits right we're talking about a potential a tier caliber player in my opinion and now that it's just like 83 power moves i mean the speed and excel is nice and ah oh man the 90 excel the 82 speed i feel like he's more along the lines of like a c tier player because of that we're talking about like a Again, a potential A tier player that just moves down the C because of traits. So yeah, boys, this has been my uh, updated thoughts on the defensive tackle position in college football ultimate team. Let me know your guys thoughts down below in the comments. Let me know what you agree with, what you disagree with. Who do you think should go up? Who do you think should come down? Now, if you guys did enjoy this video, though, you enjoy content like this, want to stay up to date with everything that's the best here in college football, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Now, if you guys do want to go ahead and see me use some of these cards live on stream, have been streaming here on both YouTube and Twitch to watch on the YouTube, make sure that noti bell as well. You'll be notified every time I upload or go live here or if you guys want to watch on the twitch check the links in the description hit that twitch with a follow but if you guys do want another video to watch check out this one right here